so when you're drawing the human proportions, you can say, okay, the width of the human is two heads wide at the shoulder. So now take that same measurement of your head and then go like this and check out how the distance from the middle of your body to your shoulder is one head turned on its side. So go ahead and do that. Let me watch you guys do that. Go like this and then turn it onto your side. And that's roughly the distance from the middle of your chest to the outside of your shoulder. And then you can do it for the other side. So you say, oh, I just learned something today. The human form, the human body were at our shoulders were two heads flipped on the side wide. It's pretty interesting, right? So I'm gonna show you how I use this in my personal art career because when I'm not with you guys, I'm oftentimes off doing portrait commissions and I'm doing paintings for clients and just paintings for fun. Um, so check out this right here. So this right here is a painting and I'll give it from this angle. This is a painting of a Supreme Court, or, or I'm sorry, a Supreme Court judge. So now when I worked on this painting, what I had to do was I had to figure out how tall the head was and then given how tall the head was, how wide her shoulders were. So what we're going to do at this point is we're gonna jump over to our drawing. So get your pencils out and we'll hop right over. All right, so the first thing that I do when I work on a drawing of proportions is I kind of like establish, like, like I'll get like a, a vague feeling for the whole figure, roughly like that. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of establish a head. So that's like a head height. And I see right there, Charlotte was asking, is the wood palette easy to clean? Yes, it is easy to clean. And I have a whole video coming up soon where I'm gonna teach you guys how to put paint down on a palette and to clean your palette. And I actually have a young woman on the call who is a good painter and she painted in my studio. And so some of you guys <laughs> have already done some of that. So, all right, so that roughly is gonna be the height of the head. So for me, it's like kind of the size of my thumb. So check this out. What you can do is you can go one, two, I'll just put a marker here, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I ran out of room. So this is why I checked the proportions before I started drawing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make the head a little bit smaller. All right, so a little bit smaller. We're gonna make this guy eight heads tall. So now, like, let's say it's like kind of the size of my index finger to my first knuckle. So I'm just gonna, this is all approximate. You don't have to get too, don't get a ruler out and get like too specific with this. Three, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. So there's eight heads. So one, two, you could actually put the ovals in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is eight heads tall. And then what you're going to do, once you have the eight heads tall, then you're gonna decide, am I drawing a man or a woman? So I'm gonna do a little drawing in the middle here, and I want you guys to tell me if the figure I'm drawing is a woman or a man. Okay, so does anyone have a guess as to whether this is a woman or a man? I'm just doing a rough, quick little squiggle there. A woman. Okay, that's so interesting that everyone's guessing woman. So now, that's exactly right. That is the symbol of a woman. And then check this out. What is this a figure of then? That's a figure of a man. So you can ask yourself, well, I, it's just like kind of like triangular shapes. Like how could one be a woman, one be a man? Uh, because the male anatomy is top heavy. So we have wide shoulders and then our hips typically go in. There's definite ex exceptions to all these things, but this is, I'm just giving you a generality. Women uh, at their hips are wider and long story short. So when I see my wife walking down the street, I know, boom, in an instant, I could see her walking. And I'm like, okay, there's a woman and it's my wife, and I can just tell by the way she walks because I'm picking up on all these shapes. And then I see this huge, powerful, big, wide shoulders. I'm like, 
that's a guy and the guy's walking down the street. So we're going to decide ahead of time, we're going to say, okay, are we drawing a woman or a man? And so I'm going to say, I am drawing a man. So I'm going to make this man, I'm going to give, take his head. I'm going to put two heads wide right here. And that is the width of his shoulders. So go ahead and draw the width of the shoulders right there. All right. So now that you have the width of the shoulders mapped out, let's start turning this into an actual guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I take my kneaded eraser and I kind of ghost out the initial heads. Like they're kind of still there, but kind of not. And then once I ghost them out, the next thing that I do, I'll sharpen my pencil. The next thing that I'll do is I'll start to like get, let's draw like a realistic head. No, not too realistic, but realistic enough. Let's draw a head in here and let's put in some eyes. I always do the eye sockets before I actually do the eyes. I do the bottom of the nose like that. I'll put in a mouth right here. It's all just like little dots and dashes, right? You don't need to get too specific with this at all. But sometimes it's nice to have like the specifics of a face there. So you're like, oh, I can see where we're going with this. Okay, so there's my guy's head. All right, so now I'm going to go with a thick neck. I'm going to make this guy powerfully built. So he's got a thick, powerful neck right there. And then I'm going to give him, these are called the trapezius muscles. They're almost like little little triangles that extend out. And then I'm going to cut and give him powerful shoulders. So everything about this guy is super powerful. All right. So you see how he's two heads wide. Now I'm going to, this is where his chest would be. And then going down further, that is the side of his rib cage right there. I'm going to put him in a t-shirt. So he's wearing a, I'm going to pretend he's like a military guy or of some sort, you know, some powerfully built guy. And he's wearing this t-shirt like that. And then here is the beginning of the arms. We're just going to leave the arms for a moment because the arms, uh, we could treat them a little bit as its own thing and we'll return to it in a little while. Okay. So now, um, you could say, okay, well, how far down, uh, do I make this like at what point let's say would we have like the middle of the body? Well, the navel of the man is three heads down. So one, two, three, I'm sorry, four heads down. So it'd be like roughly right here. That's where his undershirt, that's where his t-shirt ends. So his t-shirt, it kind of like comes like, you know, there it could come a little bit below it. It doesn't really matter if you raise it or lower it, lower it just a little. All we need to know is like roughly that's, the middle ish of the figure. So now from here down, we see two more heads. So we see another head, one, two, three, four. So here's a cool trick. Ready? The knees always come right above the second head. So you can draw two knees right here and that is where the knees sit. So count up from the bottom, one heads, two heads, and the kneecaps sit right there. So now you can, you kind of like, we worked from like the top down and now we're kind of going from the bottom up where we went one heads, two heads. Now we can put in shapes for the legs themselves. So let's do the upper leg. So the upper leg, we're just going to make it kind of like, like somewhere between like, I don't know. It's almost like a cone that is like clipped. Maybe it's a little bit of a cylinder, a cone. So that's pretty much the shape I'm using right there. And then I'm over to the other leg and the, you could give it a little bit more of an egg shape to it if you want. And now we are on to the knees right here. So now let's go to the leg. So the leg, I almost treat as like, almost like a variation of a bowling pin. So you could like, if you want, you could see it almost as being like a bowling pin. And there we go. Just like that. Now we have the two legs coming down. We'll, we'll space them out a little bit. So he's not like knocking his ankles together. And then for his feet, we're just going to put little triangles. Um, we're not going to really 
do anything with the feet uh, too much on this lesson. We're just getting the overall proportions. Now, you've locked in the overall proportions. Again, you could say like, oh, I knew how to do that. That's so easy. Actually, it's not that easy. If you don't know how to do the eight heads tall and the two heads wide, you can get really stuck. And I'll go back to some variations on this in a little bit, but let's finish up the arms. So, okay, you can take this head height, which again, it's kind of like the size of my index finger to my first knuckle, from a tip to my knuckle. And the distance from kind of like the end of the shoulder to the inside of the, of the elbow is one more head. So it's like I drew another head in here. Then the distance from the arm, the, the elbow, the inside of the crook of the elbow, the inside of the elbow, to the wrist is another head. So you can see how I'm getting like all these proportions like further and further. And it's giving me, it's giving me tools to work with. So now I have the one more head, now, one more head fits in almost, more or less, to the end of the hand. So, one thing that's kind of cool is that people don't realize this, and this is what Leonardo da Vinci was doing when he was drawing the Vitruvian Man. There's a long story behind the Vitruvian Man, but we're just going to say the distance, I bet you you didn't know this, the distance of the span of your hand stretched out is actually the height of your body. Did you ever know that? <laughs> so, more or less, I can reach about six feet wide. That's my reach. And your reach is more or less your height. So everyone's different. My brother Chris, um, he has crazy gorilla arms. His arms are way longer on his body than anyone I've ever met. And then I have another friend, and he has these short little stubby arms. So we're all different, but generally speaking, we actually, this is the height of, of the, of our, of our actually, of our overall physique. So now we know it's four heads. So one, two, three, four-ish, kind of. And then one, two, three, four. So then you can draw another arm right here. And that is our upper arm right there. So again, we're not going to spend time working on hands uh, today, because if you if we spend time like working on hands, we're going to lose the overall picture. We're going to keep it big, so that you guys can go off and you can stretch these shapes. So now we're going to draw a woman. We're going to change the proportion of the shoulders to the hips, and we're just going to do that. And then I'm going to show you how to do something kind of funny. We're going to then, I hope I have time for it, we're gonna do the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> so I could show you how you can stretch all these proportions and you can come up with something totally different. All right, so right over here, again, taking the eight heads tall, what you can do, sometimes what people will do for women is they'll go seven and a half heads tall. Um, I'm gonna keep it eight for simplicity because like none of us are really, like truly eight heads tall. None of us are purely seven heads tall when we get to adult, adulthood. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. So this woman is gonna be taller than the man. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're just gonna kind of like go faster. And I'm gonna like mess in a, a face right here. When I do a human face like this, I'm really just doing an abbreviated like almost as if it's like almost a little bit of a skull, which might sound creepy, but I try to see eye sockets and not eyes. I try to see um, just the bigger, broader picture rather than um, getting into the specifics of eyelashes. I don't want any of that. So I will give her a nice swank haircut. I mean, look at that. That is an amazing haircut. All the women on this phone call are just agreeing with me that that's a fantastic haircut that they'd love to have. Um, okay, so then we have the head locked in. Now we're gonna make the neck thinner. Don't make it as thick as we did right here. Make the neck thinner. And again, we're all different, so this doesn't relate to everyone, but we're just gonna give the general. All right, so now we're gonna give her kind of like a similar t-shirt right here. Now, instead of having the two heads wide, if we went two heads wide, her shoulders would be that wide. 
and that would be way too wide. So instead of going the two heads wide, we're gonna make it kind of like, I don't know, three quarters of a head wide, three quarters of a head wide. And you see how that's so much thinner than this right here? So we're gonna cut it off a little bit down here. We'll, we'll get to that in a little while. But we're just gonna make a very tall, willowy, thin woman. So, okay, so now we have the shoulders that wide. Now we're going to come in a little bit like this. And this is generally the hip area, which comes a little bit wider. And then we're going to bring everything in like that. We're going to, for this drawing, we're going to have a skirt that comes down to like right about there. We're just gonna have the arms draped at the side for the moment. And we're gonna quickly draw in because I wanna get to uh, some real fun, wild distortions of the human figure. <laughs> that roughly is the feet right there. Again, this is not a class on how to draw a really convincing human. This is a class on how to stretch and skew proportions. Okay, so there, I think the knees are gonna be like roughly like, let's say like the knees would be like roughly like right here. Um, for the hands, I'm just gonna let her hands kind of like come out a little bit to the side. I'm gonna take one head, two heads. That's the side of the inside of her elbow. One heads, two heads, inside of the elbow right there. The inside of the elbow to the wrist, that's one more human head more or less right there. One more head right there. And then from the wrist to the tip of the hands, it's more or less another head right there. So if you want, later on, you can come back to the drawing and give like thumbs and stuff like that. But that roughly, let's give uh, our drawing some shade. He's wearing jeans, she's wearing a dress. He's wearing, we'll say it's a white t-shirt. And let's give her, here's her dress right here. And there is some very general proportions. Okay, so now this is where I get excited <laughs> because we can start stretching things and squishing them. So I'm gonna go back to, mm, let's say I'm going to go right back to the middle of the drawing. I'll just erase away my little demo over here. And now we're gonna distort everything. So this is where, again, you could say, well, not everyone looks like the figures you drew, Kevin, this doesn't work. It's just striking an average, and then you just start bending it and squishing it. So I love like Pixar movies, if you ever hear me talk about things. Um, and I love like how they have characters that are so exaggerated. And you could just take your pick of the movie, whether it's Mr. Incredible, and his shoulders are like, he's like 10 heads wide at the top of his shoulders. And then you see the mother on The Incredibles and she's got these tiny shoulders and it's just, they just have fun and they play with these things. So I'm gonna go with the Hulk. And to, to do the Hulk, um, what I want to do is I wanna think of, um, I wanna think of the overall big, big, big picture. I do not wanna get caught up at all with like, okay, I'm going to, um, I don't know, I'm going to like have this like, every like muscle or something like that, like pointed out. I'm not doing that. I'm just getting like the biggest, biggest, biggest thing. So maybe what we'll do is, hmm, let me see here. I'm going to, I'm gonna go, I'm actually pulling up an image of the Hulk that I really loved. And okay, I can't find it, so I'm just gonna make it up. And so we're gonna make his head this big right here. So that's the Hulk's head. Again, the reason, the reason why the Hulk's body looks so big is because his head is so incredibly small. It's like such an ironic thing. Okay, so now you have that, that tiny, tiny little head mapped out. Now we're going to establish the width of his shoulders. And the width of his shoulders is, let's say, instead of being two heads wide, it's one two, one, two, he's four heads wide. 
and you see this muscle right here we're not even going to put a neck in for this guy his his trapezius muscle is going to be huge so we'll just put in a simple representation of the face for a moment we're just going to give him some quick hair and then we're just going to give him some eye sockets and then just like a bit of a brutish mouth there we are and now we're going to put in the trapezius that's this big muscle your trapezius muscle hit your shoulder right here and feel your trapezius for me it's right i can hit it right here that's that's called trapezius so the trapezius muscle on the hulk is huge it like hits his ears and I think they based this figure on someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, okay, now his shoulders are absolutely massive. And that's how big his shoulders are. Maybe I'll make them a tiny bit smaller. <laughs> so I'm just trying to like fly through this as quick as I can with the Hulk so that I can give you guys a sense of how you can stretch and skew all these things on your own time. Okay, so here he is. I'm going to put him in kind of like one of those like athletic shirts. So he's wearing that. There is his powerful chest right there. There's the rib cage. And now his arms are, instead of being super instead of having his arms be like super powerful and long what they do with the hulk is they make his arms super short so that he's like all core strength so instead of making see these long arms we have right here instead of that we're going to make these tiny little arms that are like just so incredibly jacked <laughs> and then for his hands we'll just say that Roughly speaking, that's his hands right there. We're not going to get too caught up in his hands, but we're just going to say, okay, these squares more or less are his hands. Later on, we can always go back and we can draw like really convincing hands here, but it's just not worth our time at the moment. All right, so here's his, his jeans right here. And now his legs are super, super wide. Just like that. His knees, see how much shorter he is? His knees are gonna come right here. And then his feet are gonna be like this short. Like so. And again, I'm flying through this because I just wanna show you how you guys can almost think of everything we're doing as being clay. And it's like clay that you can stretch and squish as you see fit to come up with your own characters that you make up. So if you want, you can make his head a little bit bigger. It's no problem. So if you want his head to you say, okay, I tried that out. I want it to be a little bit bigger here. So just make it a little bit bigger. Um, you can always play with these things and stretch and squish your shapes as your drawing idea develops. I'm just keeping them really, really simple here. All right, so there is my powerful guy, and he's just like absolutely, absolutely jacked. Okay, so now let's do one more figure. This is gonna be super fast, guys, ready? This is going to be super, super, super thin and skinny person. So we're gonna go this head right here, and instead of having shoulders this wide, we're going to have this person's head, I'll give a little face right here. And I'm gonna make the shoulders that wide. And I'm gonna give this person really crazy hair. All right, crazy hair. <laughs> um, so now for the shoulders, I'm going to make them just this, this thick. And now I'm gonna do a really rapid drawing because again, we have a set time on here and I don't want to take up too much of your time as I know you guys all have school schedules and you work with things, but you can see how you can make a figure way, way, way more stretched out. And the reason why you know this guy is stretched out is because you established the ideal and you went with the 
absolute average of everything. So I want to go back, look at our drawing one more time, and then talk about it. This is the average. Someone you could say is right in the middle. This is stretched out this way. So this guy is about eight heads tall. So we'll write eight heads right here. This guy, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not even. It's like, this is like almost like five and a half heads tall, but we'll just say six, six heads tall right here. Whoops, let me uh, tilt the camera for us. And then this lady is a very graceful seven and a half heads tall. And then this fellow right over here, my goodness, how many heads is he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he is nine heads tall. And I know this drawing looks like really terrible, but you could actually take it and you could develop it and turn this into like a nice drawing. Um, I'm just giving you the very, very abbreviated version. So now as you set to your own work and you're creating worlds, so one of the students on this call, she comes in, has come in with uh, books and comics and stuff, and she creates her own worlds. And you guys have actually sent me some stuff on the website, and I've been able to see your work and things that you create. Now you can take this concept and you can say, oh, I want to do a figure of like some guy, and it's like a dragon, but it's a short squat dragon. He's got like tiny little wings just like this. You know how to do that because you know the average between the head size and the body size. And then you say, oh, I want to do a dragon that's long and elegant. So you, now you have the tools to work with this, and it's all about the ratio of the head.